Water is very liberating, and I just think that that's a beautiful connection. So the first account of surfing in Africa was written in the 1640s. They're written before Europeans describe surfing in Hawaii or elsewhere in Oceania. Hey, listen to how these people are getting down. And they're clearly just talking about kids paddling out into the surf, turning around, paddling for waves, and then catching and riding waves. And Senegal, I see three years old, four years old, uh, jumping in the water. Like even they didn't have a swim lesson; it's just in their blood. They'd come across Africans, and every African group, they were just uh, so impressed. They would say, "These people are the best swimmers we've ever encountered." Slavers realized that they could actually exploit these skills, especially Africans' underwater diving skills. I realized that so much had not been done in terms of research about African Americans in Los Angeles. He was born in Santa Monica in 1927. I had been surfing almost 20 years when I first heard about Nick, and I was absolutely blown away. No one knew that much about his background. We knew that he was half black and half Mexican. Willa Bruce opened up her resort in Manhattan Beach in 1912. She was able to get oceanfront property down there, starting a black-owned business to support African Americans being able to go to the beach. From day one that she opened her place, she had issues with white folks in the area. They were aggressively pushing to keep African Americans out of Manhattan Beach. The insult is that for decades nothing was done with the property. So it was very clear that it wasn't about seizing the property through eminent domain for public good. It was about seizing the property to arrest the success Charles and Willa were having. I started Intersection as a way to create a safe space and a fun space and a positive entry point for other women of color who want to learn how to surf. I'm so excited about the younger generation of surfers and the diversity that is out there. Show up, be counted, go surfing, be a part of the exposure of the sport. Surfing is one of those things on the ocean if you think about it. It's one of those things that could just teach you a lot of things if you really pay attention.